Okay, Taurus, for the week commencing 29th of May 2017. Taurus, let's see what's the cards for you this week. Let's give it another shuffle. Gloves and cards for you. Taurus. What's in store for Taurus? We commencing 29th of May 2017 for Taurus. Okay, Taurians. Some memories of love. You're intuitive about a past romantic relationship. You're thinking about that person. It's long gone, but you think about them. You've successfully moved on. You stood for what was right for you then, but you fondly think of them. You're nostalgic, you're reminiscing about your time with them, whoever this person is. And interestingly, it could be telepathic connection, it could be a very telepathic connection. The person you are thinking about might also be thinking about you at this time. And both of you might be reminiscing about your time together. But you're happy where you are at the moment. You have fond memories of that love. Okay, there's going to be harmony. I think this card came up for you in the previous reading as well last week. Torians, there's going to be harmony in your romantic relationships. See that card? Harmony. Other at peace and in love. Heart connection. Okay, so especially those who have been wanting to date someone or marry someone for a very long time. Those who might have been feeling lonely for a while are going to meet someone special in their lives. Some of you might be working really hard to set a base and get some financial security to be able to have this relationship. For example, if you, you've been wanting to marry but you haven't had the financial stability to buy a house or to have a family. You'll be working on it this week. And you will be successful. You will make that kind of money or you will create those assets. You've got to be patient. You've got to be patient. You're sowing the seeds for this family to build up and it's going to be very much in your favor but you've got to be super patient. Okay, something's telling me two months. Give it roughly around two months. Whatever seeds you're sowing at the moment will start reaping fruit in a couple of months time from now. Soul chakra. A lot of you have been struggling to communicate and express yourselves freely and openly. You have a lot buried in there which you want to talk about and you want to communicate and express yourself but you're unable to do that. Clear yourself, cleanse, come out in the open. Tell the person what you feel and how you feel. There could be communication in regards to money. You might have wanted to communicate about your finances to someone as well but you haven't got a chance to do that this week is a good time to do that 
some of you could be consulting your tax agents for taxation purposes or an investment expert to get your finances in line finance is a theme this week Taurus you're going to be working on your finances for a better future in order to form a family you want to make stability you want to build a stable home you're working on those finances let's get some clarity God, God, it's interesting. Write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. It's very interesting how it came up right on top of the throat chakra. So that's throat chakra, which you're struggling with at the moment, and this card came up on top of it. See how she's openly expressing and releasing. So basically you could either start writing in a diary, start making diary entries every day to sort of release your worries and concerns that you're unable to verbalize otherwise. You need to release what's stuck in your throat. Some of you could also be having a cough, a throat infection this week. Be careful. You can use some honey to soothe your dry cough. You could also use lemon and ginger. So basically, yeah, some of you are going to have a throat infection. And this will basically clear once you start communicating and expressing yourself. This infection. So basically, infections, aches and pains come up on our body when an issue is unresolved at a spiritual level. They show up in the physical form and that's what's happening this week to you, Taurus. Because you're unable to express yourself with love and light or with clarity, you might have this throat infection or cough. And once you say it, what's stuck in your throat, watch it get cleared like magic. You won't feel it anymore once you say what you want to say. So be bold. Phrase it in a way that's not hurtful, yet very clear, but put it out there. You need to say it. Sending you lots of healing for your throat, your throat chakra. Sending you some amethyst energy. Taurus. Love and light. For your throat chakra. May you be able to say what you want to say. With positivity, love and light. Sending you some Reiki energy. For your throat. Look after your throat. The key is to speak with love and light. Crown chakra. So you're going to be very aware and alert this week. Pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers. So something you've been praying for for a while. You're going to get messages, angelic messages. You know, there could be certain numbers popping up every now and then. Or certain tunes. Or, uh, you know, uh, anything. A certain person you'll keep bumping into on the street somewhere randomly. So these are angelic messages. Don't ignore them. There was a day when I kept seeing... A number particularly uh, on one day and it just randomly kept popping up wherever I went and then I realized it was trying to give me a message sometimes a life path number pops up quite often 
and our life path number is actually it holds a lot of information about our purpose in life you know your purpose in life could have been to volunteer or to be a social worker or to be a teacher pay attention to these energies be open to receiving and accepting these messages you know the lyrics of a song you know a certain song might just keep popping up in your head that's giving you a message be very aware just be open and receptive that's it there you are manifestation power with crown chakra once you're open to receiving you process that information and you can manifest it so there's divine guidance the universe is trying to guide you in order to manifest your desired outcome you will be working hard on your finances this week you will you will be working really hard to manifest the financial stability and the financial status you want emotional sensitivity honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all you could be emotionally sensitive this week very interesting this week is coming up to be very emotionally sensitive for a lot of other signs as well i guess a lot of us are going to be very aware and alert of things happening around us so this is basically be careful what you wish for what you say could just manifest be very careful what you wish for because you're open and receptive this week one final card with love and light and positivity beautiful workshops and seminars so i see and it's smack in the center of the reading so i think a large number of you tourist people are going to be attending workshops and seminars attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path we just talked about uh um life path number the ones who are into numerology so we have a spiritual path and purpose be open to teaching and learning some of you could be conducting a workshop or a seminar and the others if you could be attending a workshop slash seminars so this is what's in store for you look after your throat workshops and seminars could be coming up be open and receptive to receiving what you want using the law of attraction you have the manifestation power you will manifest what you want finances you'll be working hard on stabilizing your finances this week you could be talking to a tax agent or uh, an investment um, expert but at the end of it all you have material harvest you see how he's got plenty he's got abundance see you might just get a tax return this week or you might be eligible for a refund somewhere you know you might just get a huge discount on something you spot so this is your reading for the week commencing 29th of may 2017 my dear taurus i hope you enjoyed the reading if it resonates with you if you enjoyed the reading please don't forget to comment like share and subscribe sending you a lot of reiki energy with much love and light lots of love my dear taurus See you next week.